वेलकम एवरी वन सो टुडे वी आर गोन टू सॉल्व अ वेरी नाइस एंड डाइसेस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज 7^2x 7^2x 7^3x 14 नाउ व्हाट डू यू डू इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सम सी अंडरस्टैंड a^m n कैन बी रिटन एज a^ a^m द होल रेस टू n और इट कैन आल्सो बी रिटन एज a^ n द होल रेस टू m so here i can write this 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x the whole square plus 7 raised to x the whole cube equals to 14 now what we'll do is we'll let 7 raised to x equals to m so we are getting this as m plus m square plus m cube equals to 14 So now, when you write this polynomial in its decreasing order of degree, you get m cube plus m square plus m minus fourteen equals to zero. Now, please understand. Whenever you have a question which has a degree more than two, then in that case, we can try to solve this in in the form of synthetic division. Okay. Now, <coughs> your For synthetic division to happen, you need to find the factor, one factor which satisfies this entire equation. So we'll take the value of m as one. <coughs> When I take the value of m as one, I get one plus one plus one minus fourteen. That doesn't give you a zero. So this is gone wrong. What about we take the value of m as two? So you get eight plus four, because eight two cube is eight, two square is four. Plus two minus fourteen, and that gets you a zero. So we can say that the factor, or rather the value of m equals to two, is absolutely correct for this particular equation. Now, before going ahead, <coughs> let's quickly revise how to do synthetic division. See, in synthetic division, you need to write down the coefficients over here. Now, the coefficients, how do you write them? You write the coefficients in decreasing order of their degree. So we have m cube coefficient, which is one, m square coefficient, which is also one, m coefficient, which is also one, and then lastly the constant, which is fourteen. So let's do the synthetic division. This is nothing but what the first thing what you do is take this number as it is, multiply two into one, that gets you two, add one plus two gets you, gets you three, multiply two into three gets you six. Add one plus six gets you seven. Multiply seven and two, you get fourteen. And minus fourteen plus fourteen gets you zero. See, so understand? For you to find out or to remember that your synthetic division is correct, you need to make sure that over here you should get a zero. So now you got this. <coughs> this entire sum can now be solved as what m minus two. Please understand here the value of m what we took was what plus two. Okay. So here, when you take the m outside, or rather just let it be that way, so we have one value of m which is two, and the other value fr is from this equation, and that is nothing but a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation, what happens over here is this becomes your m square plus three m plus seven equals to zero. Now looking at this, let's understand what will be the delta. Delta is nothing but what b square. Minus four AC. That is nine. B square is three. So three square is nine. Minus four into seven into one. Okay. So this is what nine minus twenty eight, which is less than zero. Now please understand. We have an index. Okay, and uh, that value is equals to m. So in order to find the value of x, you need to take log. So you can't take log of negative numbers. Okay, or any number which is Imaginary. So in that case, we will say that seven x equals to two is the only option available as m for our this question. Now, in order to find the value of x, we got seven x equals to m, and that is equals to seven x equals to two. Now, in order to find the value of x, we'll apply log on both sides. So here we can say. See log of a raised to m equals to m log a. So this can be written as what x 
log 7 equals to log 2. So in order to find the value of x, you will divide both sides by log 7. So this gets cancelled and x equals to log 2 upon log 7. Also, remember, log of A upon log of B can be written as log of A to the base B. So, this can either be written as log of 2 to the base 7. Or, we can put the value of the logs if they have given you the log book. So, log 2 is what? 0 0.8. Sorry. Log 2 is 0 0.301 upon log 7 which is 0 0.845. So this gets you the final answer as, as 0 0.356. Okay. So here we can very easily say that the value of x is either log 2 upon log 7 or log of 2 to the base 7 or 0 0.356. Please understand, if you don't understand how to find the synthetic division or how to do the synthetic division, then I will I will put a link of that same video at the end of this video so that you can understand. There I've taken many other kind of variables and many other kind of examples where using synthetic division can literally solve all your problems. Now, please understand, when you look at this particular question, Okay, I will write it over here. So, we had the question as 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to 2x plus 7 raised to 3x equals to 14. Now, please understand 7 raised to 1 equals to 7. 7 raised to 2 gets you 49. So, by default, value of x has to, has to be either 1 or less than 1. Okay. But if I had taken it as 1, what would have happened? It would have gotten you 7 plus 7 square plus 7 cube, which is definitely not equal to 14. So in that case, you need to be aware that the answer for this particular question has to be in 0 point something. Okay. So please understand, these are the few things when you look at the question, it is expected that when you look at the question, you have an idea that how do you solve these kind of questions. When you look at this and you realize that this is definitely a, not in a power of 7. It is of course a multiple of 7 but not a power of 7. Then in that case you need to remember that you will have to use log further on. So I hope this is extremely clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.